Hey everyone, so today I decided to do a review slash first impressions of the Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation. And it looks like this. It's kind of like a really thick mousse, I'd say maybe. Um, just very creamy, but kind of thick as well. It doesn't feel heavy on your face and it goes on really nicely with the beauty blender, uh, a damp beauty blender. So um, so if you have one of those, then try applying it with that. But um, anyways, I was kind of skeptical at buying this at first just because I thought it was going to be too thick. I didn't know if I'd like it and at $13.99 I felt like it was really expensive um, for a drugstore foundation. And so when I was able to get it for sale, I jumped on that. So this morning I applied it with, um, first I applied the Revlon Photo Ready Primer in 002, it's kind of a pink tone. I applied that on my T-zone and on my nose and kind of in this area. And then after that I applied the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in 002, I think it's light pale. And this is also a fairly new product. And so on top of that I did my foundation with the Beauty Blender and then I set it with the L'Oreal translucent, uh, translucent powder. It's just a translucent powder that um, I applied with my e.l.f. face kabuki brush. And I just, you know, went all over my face just to kind of set it after the fact. Um, all in all, I'd have to rate this foundation maybe 1 out of 10. I'd definitely give it a 10. I've had it on for over 6 hours and I feel like it has really held up its coverage and um, I have a few breakouts. I have a big kind of cluster of breakouts here, here, and kind of some in my T-zone, and one right here. So they're not very noticeable, and like I said, after six hours, I feel like this foundation has really stayed true to itself and to what it claims. It claims that it's a 24-hour foundation. Um, I'm not going to keep it on for 24 hours, and I'd kind of be scared if it did last for 24 hours just because it's like, what is it doing to your face if it's staying on that long? Um, but I guess if you're someone that needs to be up for 24 hours, then go for it and see if it works and let me know. <laughs> but um, all in all, like I said, 1 out of 10, it's a 10. If you were skeptical about trying it, I would definitely say go out and get it if you're interested in a foundation that's kind of... Um, a thicker consistency and does have some pretty good coverage. I always use a concealer just because I have really dark under eye circles and I have a lot of redness around my nose and I also have a scar from um, an old nose ring that I had so um, this covers all of that and it kept it covered. So I feel like it's really reigning true to what it says as far as keeping its lasting coverage. Um, also, I didn't reapply today because I really wanted you to see what it looked like throughout the day. And so after six hours, I feel like this has just worked amazingly. It's definitely one of my new favorite foundations. And um, if you were skeptical about buying it, definitely go out and try it.